Mr. Fanholm, build the USS Enterprise 1701D, magazine 25, this time park kit 98. Hi guys, Ralph here. So, fun part, about four of Magazine 25. It's 98 this time, so let's have a look what you get in the bags this time. There's a side part of the saucer with a thruster on there, some screws, a light blocking part, a double LED, some lifeboats, lots of lifeboats. A large section there for the, I'm guessing that's gonna be for light blocking for the um, secondary hole, this section underneath here possibly, and a metal part for somewhere on the other side over on here full of lifeboats. Cool. Okay, cool. So let's get this debagged and see what we can do. Right, with the last issue being as short as it was, just build, basically building that and holding on to that part. Was it that part? Yes, no, yes, yes. So I'm hoping, oh, come on. This is, this, we've got this part since the beginning and I'm, I'm eager to get it. I might look, I might jump forward a little bit and see what I can do, because that bit can definitely fit into there. Mm. That bit goes on here. Da, 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 da. It does look good once it's done, yes, there we go. Cool. See all me, me rushing around trying to put the wiring kit into this is now going to wait another month. So I didn't have to rush, but at least it's done now. Everything's done and ready. So let's get on with this, shall we, Ralph? Part there. Um, ten lifeboats this time. That, oh, come on. This, two, this should go with two types of escape pod cover. One, what? Only one can be screwed in. Yeah, yeah, it's that one. Yeah, we know. So what are we doing with that? Are we using that? Sorry, waffling. Should really cut this out. Um, is that... That is that. No, it's not that. It is that. Okay, we are fitting lights. Right, we are using this one later. Fine, get on with it. So, I want that piece here. And I want some... Here. We'll go that way around. Some lifeboats fitted in. Do you really need to fit, see me fit some lifeboats in? Again, like I say in, in all the issues, is the thinner part is the top and the thicker part goes to the outside of the saucer. And this is definitely no exception. So if you're gonna do this without the Mike Lane mods for the lifeboats, that is the way that you put them. I, on the other hand, I'm doing the Mike Lane mods and if they are all the right way around, it'll be an absolute miracle. There aren't gonna be um, things from now on with this model kit that I will be doing. I'll be showing you how to do it the proper way, but I have already modded a lot of things anyway. Like in the future, there are some battery packs that are coming that I will be fitting, but I will not be using. So I'll show you how to do that. But unfortunately, for, for but not for unfortunately, anybody really, um, it'll be, there and it won't be used. So if anybody in the future, including myself, decides to hang this from the ceiling and hasn't got a long enough cable to wire up things with, then I've got the easiest solution of redoing and getting a battery pack. I still can't understand why they never did a power supply for it themselves. It is difficult, but easy enough. I've explained my method if you know anything about electrics, then there is a video not long, a few, yeah, I think it was a few days ago, I posted that. Come on, in you go. I hate these screwdrivers. Is it that way around? Yep. So two IM screws, use the magnetic screwdriver in the pot. Now, put that in. I've got too much friction again like I keep saying and I can't stress this enough you mess this up you're gonna have to drill out the screw or glue it in place and I'd rather have it secured by a screw nothing like having a good screw to secure your um your piece oh, I 
of doing double entendres. But screw down a little bit, it will warm itself up. You won't feel it, but it'll warm itself up on the brittle, crummy plastic that's going into the crummy metal, <laughs> the crummy parts. Just, just back and forwards, it should cool itself down. To be honest, in a day like today, where it's it's quite cold in the garage and it's, yeah, it's winter. Um, obviously, in the uh, filming world, if you're not watching this to, to when I've actually posted this, then you're a fool. No, no, you're not. You're absolutely brilliant. People watching this in the future, um, it's depends on how strong you are as well. If you're going to be just going at this like. An absolute brave and idiot, then you're gonna break things, really gonna break things. But just be careful, take your time. Or even so, somebody messaged me the other day on they're on issue five. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, I've not got it in front of me, but it says, Oh, I'm just starting this, and, and thanks for all the tips. I'm like, my pleasure. Um, yeah, enjoy. Got a quick slip of coffee. Let's get the saucer and get this mounted. Here comes the saucer, and with my two cables hiding there and there, ready for going into the, the cobra neck. When we get round to properly assembling the completed parts. I mean, when this is done, there'll be five parts. The saucer, the cobra neck, the secondary hull, and two nacelles. And they will go, go in, and I've got quick release, well, connectors that I can easily quick release, so I don't have to go over the top with this. I don't have to cut cables and dewire and stuff. So like I said last time, I think I remember, I said I filmed these back to back anyway. So yeah, of course I can remember. Um, going that way, get this corner here, this lips over this piece here and also connects onto here, keys in. So a little bit up on, knocking to, just feel into place. That's not in, there we go. I have a bit of a gap there. I want to get rid of this line on here because there's a little lip there and that's going to bite me in the arse later, I'm sure it will. Hold that in. Next screw. If you, by the way, if you're actually struggling, I haven't put a screw in there. Issues ago. I bet you're all screaming in the comments. Please put that screw in. I bet you weren't. <laughs> Cool. Right, so I'm going to push that that way a little because there's a little gap there. If I can, oh, that clicked nicely. Satisfying click. I like those clicks. When I hear a snap, that's when I don't like. So that's in. It's, it's there, isn't it? There is. Uh, it's, oh, this part here is over that part. That's on line. That's a little over. That's a lot over. That's now back in line. Okay, cool. So holding down in place. These are the parts you don't want to break the screws on because these are essential and these are holding everything together. There's a big gap there forming. So is it? I don't think it is. And it's funny how they said from the start, once she's all completed, everything will be fine. Yeah. I love being lied to, Edel Moss. I mean, I'm, I'm so th thankful to Fan Home for continuing this project. And there are times where I thought, I just want to get rid of this, and it's just not worth it. But it's going to look good when it's finished and i'm going to get a display case for this and it's going to look amazing it's going to be like my lego millennium falcon in here it's going to look absolutely immense i'm looking on here for the future as well these parts these lights over here i think these are the flashes anyway where i've taped them up here i know they go over there but there's a small key part there that lips over onto there i'll get you in a little bit because everything on these videos has been too far away yeah right there this bit here will go over to there, so this light will be over the top of both of these lights. I know there's not meant to be two, but unfortunately, we we either rewire absolutely everything, or we don't. I'm not even sure if that's meant to be over there or not. Mm. That must be underneath. Nope, there's no gap. Cool. I've followed instructions so far anyway, so hopefully there should be a gap over that when this back's next section comes on eventually. So. 
Next part. I think I need the secondary hole. Well, actually, I think I need that panel for the secondary hole. So let me just get rid of this a second. And we are now match flushed. So I think I'm certain the next part has a bit over here and then a bit over here comes in afterwards for the skeleton part to finish this part off so we can see the proper shape. Then there'll be some more panels come down here and then more panels down here. And then there's a full part which goes over all of this. And then we've got section over here, section in the middle, section on the side, section on the side. We really are cracking on nicely on this. I mean, yeah, it's 25, we've got six to go. Plodding along lovely. Yes, I did forget. Push, done. I'm ready. Okay, so what we need is a lifeboat. Do you want the lifeboat before or after this? I think at the same time, doesn't matter, does it? Okay, so again, lifeboats don't matter to me. If you're doing this properly, make sure that the right way around. That will go that way, right too. Hopefully these are nicely in line. Ah, that fits lovely. So underneath, got the windows or and all the not windows. Cool. So I just hold that in place to her. Oh, right. Okay. Next part is why is the why have I got another one? Right, this looks to me like... Oh, okay, so don't do this... Right. But, for... The wires, stop it! For, um, for thingy's sake, don't touch that one. Because that will probably go on this side. Um, this one's already done for the centre ones. So what I need is, is this a new one or this not a new one? I think this is these. So I want this light here, which goes over here. That will go into here. Cool. And then the red one from here will go into here. Right over the top of where the lifeboat is. That's not very good colour blocking. Since it's actually over top of here, it wanted to be there, didn't it? That's weird. So that wants to be like that. It wants to be straight. But once it's out, it needs to be... So you don't put it in front of this hole here. OK. <sighs> this is where madness comes. So I need to put two screws in, BP screws, into here and here when that's into on there. So I basically need to prepare before I put anything on and get some BP screws. Hmm, madness. Oh, <sighs> okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, that bit wants me, I don't, yeah, because that will be nipped into the section anyway. So that needs bending over as best you can. Don't think it's gonna go any further over that way either, is it? So hopefully it's just going to be resting on top of, and that's fine. So you've got screw there, screw there. We're ignoring these, apparently, because um, we've just got a part that's just going to literally laugh at us. So we could... We haven't got windows for this just yet anyway, but this will go underneath there nicely. Fit in, fit in. So we, we definitely can't use it because we haven't got windows. It's a shame, really because that would be nice to start with this. And again, with the actual mounting this to the Enterprise, look at that piece of paint there. It's it's nice you've got these panels here because these will all push into place and we can glue them in to cover all the screws. It's better doing that way than have those little, well, we are actually doing those little circle ones as well. Lifeboat, lifeboat, good, good, good. Lifeboats cover a lot of things, which is really, really nice to see. But we can't do that one yet, so that's going to be wrapped away until next month. So that is exactly what the configuration of this is meant to be. So we've got one wire which is done, another wire which is ready for that will go, obviously, there. So we've got the same again, or is it there? Or is it there? It's probably going to be there. Same as the other one, sidewards. Why would it be sidewards when there's nothing there? Hmm. Then another one, probably... I don't know. Probably going to be the same as to light this bit up and that bit lights that bit up. Yes, and then this one is done. Cool. Okay, done. So that's that's 98 done. 
Is it 120 for these, is it, for parts? Yeah, so we've got 22 more parts to do. Not bad. Just wish they'd send us all in one go. Never mind. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, follow on social media. Consider being a Patreon to help me out with the donation. Consider being a YouTube member. Consider an actual physical donation. Join our Discord channel. All the links are below. You've got no excuse. And just send me a... You know, just comment on the video if you like. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye for now. Yeah, no, forgot again. Getting on with it now. Da, 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 da. It's definitely worthwhile doing this anyway, so yeah. There's one. Thanks for watching.